In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, a day after we have celebrated the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, we are now celebrating the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The mother follows the son. All the disciples must also follow the son. We are thankful for giving us in Mary the perfect example of discipleship. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly acknowledge that we have not been faithful disciples of the Lord. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ, and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does He keep His wrath forever. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is His kindness toward those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has He put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please all stand. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. In March 2020, we closed all the churches. 
because of COVID-19. And for many months, there were no public celebration of Masses. The churches were closed. People could not come in to celebrate the Eucharist. People could only come in to pray individually in isolation at physical distance. You just had to content yourself, yourselves with online masses. You could not receive Holy Communion. When COVID-19 started to ease, after several months of being closed, the church were, churches were finally opened. You were very happy that finally you could celebrate the Eucharist face to face. I remember in Paco when I was there and we reopened the church. After the Mass, an old woman came to see me saying, Father, tuwan-tuwa po ako kasi matapos ang ilang buwan, nakatanggap na uli ako ng kumunyon Maluha-luha pa yung matanda. And I guess that was also the feeling of many that after several months of being deprived of Holy Communion, they finally are, were able to receive it. They were overwhelmed. Tuwang-tuwa sila sapagkat nakatanggap uli sila ng komunyon. My dear sisters and brothers, we heard the gospel. As we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, let us ask ourselves, what is the heart of Mary about? Why is it immaculate? What model does it show to us? Ang una ay ito, ang kalinis-linisang puso ni Maria ay isang pusong hindi matatahimik hanggat hindi nakikita si Jesus. Nung mawala si Jesus at maiwan sa templo at matapos na makita nila si Jesus na muli, ang sabi ng mahal na birhen sa kanyang anak, Anak, why, son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. Ligalig ang aming puso. Ang puso ni Maria ay isang pusong hindi matatahimik hanggat hindi nakakapiling si Jesus. Ganun din ba tayo? Na hindi matahimik ang ating puso kapag wala si Jesus? O, baka naman, well, okay lang, no? Kung nandyan, nandyan. Kung wala, eh di wala. Tayo ba'y nasabik nung tayo ay makabalik na muli sa simbahan at makatanggap na muli ng komunyon? O baka naman nasanay na tayo sa online masses na pwede namang magpunta ng simbahan, pwede namang magsimba, pero dahil sa nakasanayan na ang online masses, dito na lang ako sa online mass. Ang puso ni Maria ay pusong ligalig hanggat hindi nakakapiling ang Panginoon. 
And then the gospel continued. They returned to Nazareth. And it was said here, He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all things in her heart. Sa Tagalog po, yung translation, at iningatan ni Maria ang lahat ng ito sa kanyang puso. Iningatan ni Maria. Ang malinis na puso ni Maria ay isang pusong pinagninilayan, pinag-iisipan, pinagdarasalan, iniingatan ang mga misteryong nangyayari sa kanyang buhay. The Immaculate Heart of Mary is a heart that keeps all the mysteries happening in her life in her heart. Tanungin ko kayo, sa mga nangyayari sa inyong buhay, naitanong ba ninyo sa inyong mga sarili, ano ba ang gustong sabihin ng Diyos sa akin? Sa mga pagsubok na dumadating sa inyong buhay, sa mga problema na kinakaharap ninyo, sa mga tanong ninyo sa buhay, sumagi na ba sa isip ninyo ang katanungan, ano ang gustong sabihin ng Diyos sa akin? The Immaculate Heart of Mary is a heart that keeps the mysteries of God in her heart. Ninanamnam ang misteryo ng Diyos. O baka naman dahil narinasanay tayo sa fast food mentality, we go to a fast food uh, uh, center, we order what we want to eat, we eat, and then we leave. We did not have time to digest, we did not have time to, nourish, to be nourished, we did not have time to, to enjoy the food because we are always in a hurry. Kaya nga fast food. We are always running, moving from one event to another that we didn't have time to reflect on the mysteries of God. Kaya tuloy siguro, hindi natin nananamnam ang pagkain sapagkat lagi tayo nagmamadali. Ganun din siguro, no, napalalampas natin ang kahulugan ng mga kaganapan sa ating buhay sapagkat lagi tayong nagmamadali. Mary kept all these things in her heart and allowed God to speak to her through these events. Kaya nga, mga minamahal kong kapatid, sana kapag may nangyayari sa buhay ninyo, wag lamang yung bakit, bakit nangyari ito sa akin, bakit sa akin, bakit ako. Hindi lamang dapat bakit ang tanong. Dapat itanong din natin, ano? Ano ang gustong sabihin ng Diyos? Ano ang mensahe ng Diyos? Ano ang gustong ituro ng Diyos sa akin? Bakit? Dahil ang bawat pangyayari sa buhay natin ay merong gustong ipasabi ang Diyos. Whether it is joyful or sad, whether it is a failure or a triumph or success, God has a message in every event of our lives. Let us not rush things. Let us keep all these things in our heart. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, ngayong ipinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng kalinis-linis ang puso ni Maria, nawa ang lahat ng ating mga puso ay maging katulad ng kanyang puso na hindi matatahimik 
hanggat hindi natatagpuan si Jesus at ang lahat ng nangyayari ay pinagdinilayan. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to God, our loving Father, that following the example of Mary, we may always seek and do His will. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may practice the humility of Mary in willingness to serve God and men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christ may find a welcome abode in the hearts of people as He found a well-prepared dwelling place in Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the true spirit of prayer may deeply penetrate the hearts of people that they may hear the cry of the poor as it permeated the whole being of Mary's Immaculate Heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may find healing and consolation through the powerful intercession of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dying may look up to Mary as their source of strength and comfort as she stood by the cross of her Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. God, our Lord and Master, cleanse our hearts that we may receive Christ, your only Son, in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation 
to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. I am inviting everyone to please uh, follow us as we go out. And uh, we are going to pray the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary before the image of the Immaculate Heart in front of the Manila Cathedral. Act of consecration of the world to the Immaculate Heart. 
Queen of the Holy Rosary, help of the Christians, refuge of the human race, conquerors in God's battlefields, to you and to your Immaculate Heart, in this tragic hour of human history, we entrust and consecrate ourselves and the Holy Church. She is the mystical body of your Jesus, suffering and bleeding in so many parts and tormented in so many ways. We consecrate to you the whole world, torn by bitter strife and consumed by the fire of hatred, the victim of its own wickedness. Look with compassion to all material and moral destruction, to the suffering and fears of fathers and mothers, of husbands and wives, of brothers and sisters and innocent children. Look at the many lives cut down in the flower of youth, so many bodies torn to pieces in brutal slaughter, so many souls tortured and troubled, and in danger of being lost eternally. O Mother of mercy, obtain peace for us from God. Obtain especially those graces which can convert human hearts quickly, those graces which can prepare, establish, and ensure peace. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Give the world at war the peace for which all are longing, peace in truth, justice, and the charity of Christ. Give them peace of the arms and peace of mind, that in tranquility and order the kingdom of God may expand. Grant your protection to infidels and to those still walking in the shadow of death. Give them peace and permit that the Son of Truth may raise upon them, and that together with us they may repeat before the only Savior of the world, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth among men of goodwill. Give peace to the people separated by error and schism, particularly those who have special devotion to you and among whom there was no home, where your venerable icon was not honored, though at present it may be hidden in the hope for better days. Bring them back to the one called of Christ under the one true shepherd. Obtain peace and complete liberty for the Holy Church of God. Check the spreading flood of neo-paganism. Arouse within the faithful love of purity, the practice of Christian life and apostolic zeal, so that the people who serve God may increase in merit and number. All of humanity were once consecrated to the heart of your Son, all our hopes rest in Him, who is in all times, sign and pledge of victory and salvation. Forever, we consecrate ourselves to you and to your Immaculate Heart, O Mother and Queen of the world. May your love and patronage hasten the victory of the Kingdom of God. May all nations at peace with each other and with God proclaim you blessed and sing with you from one end of the earth to the other the eternal magnificat of glory, love, and gratitude to the heart of Jesus in which alone they can find truth, life, and peace. Salve Regina Jesus, we love us. 
The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.